Welcome to Sunday Afternoon Baseball on MLB Network as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Stephen Wright, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Harold, what do you got? Well, he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys. He's around the plate. And that number alone just tells me his stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. Here's Manny Machado now. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Third baseman number 13, Manny Machado. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon, HR. Well, they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Matt, they're on one of those hot streaks. I mean, everything is going right for them. They're playing great baseball right now. I mean, timely hitting, the bullpen's coming through. It looks like they're, they're rested. They're doing the things they need to do to really be a winning club right now. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, I love watching Manny Machado do his thing. He's been a catalyst for this team in the last 10 games and in so many different ways. But looking at the one number I'm looking at, a 450 on base percentage, when you have that and you have the type of abilities that he has, you're awfully dangerous. Stepping into the box, Adam Jones, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. First offering on its way. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Bradley, and it's gone into the monster seats. A solo shot here for Adam Jones number 18 for him on the campaign as the O's are on the board first it's one to nothing. Well you can get some cheap home runs in Fenway down the right field line but when you hit it deep over the monster in left center there's nothing cheap about that. He earned that trip around the bases and should enjoy it. Stepping in, Mark Trumbo. He's not, not among the third. league leaders in home right runs, but his total does Mark top this Trumbo. ball club. First pitch of the at bat. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. This could be an interesting night for him. He gives up the extra base hit, and then he makes a location pitch that he needs to make. If he does that consistently, he'll have a good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hard ground ball to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. Well, that ball is hit hard between the five and six hole, and you saw the third baseman right there Batting start to four. slide and maybe First scoop it. Looked like he olayed it, but Chris I think he's trying to get David. his body in position to spin and make a throw to first. Here's Chris Davis now. As you'll watch a knuckleball that finds the zone for strike one. He'll come in with an average down at 230 and even 20 home runs and 59 RBIs. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up. 
drifting toward the third base dugout. Ramirez is over now and he's got it for route number two. Batting fifth. The left fielder number And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting outfielder, Yun Soo Kim. His career numbers against Stephen Wright, he's hitless in six tries. First pitch coming, here it is. A called strike over the outside corner. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Matt. Jansen's going to remind you of those brave games we used to watch with Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz were pitching because he has got a wide zone. He's going to take us back to the 90s calling balls off the plate. Thought he had the inside corner that time but it missed for ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lined but speared on a hop. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Orioles get one on the home run by Adam Jones. Bottom of the first coming up from the fence. And it's now 1 0 Baltimore. Logan Verrett will be the starter for the O's in this contest. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Red Sox. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, these Orioles entering play today, Harold Reynolds, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, Matt, I mean, they're playing good ball, and here they are already with a one nothing lead, and I think this trend may continue. They're really putting it all together and playing good ball right now. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Hit the target, but this is low, two-and-one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Here's Scope to make the catch, and there's out number one. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. HR, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. One out, nobody on. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Bram. Man, not sure if he was trying to send a message early in the game or what, but I sure hope this doesn't carry over to the rest of the game. Sometimes things like this early in the game really sets the tone for problems later, but I hope that's not the case. Ready now, Hanley Ramirez. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club.
First delivery to him on the way. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Runners on first with one down. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. Set to deliver on two and one. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. On the ground now for Hardy. This might be two. One there. On to Davis at first. It's a double play, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park. The Orioles are on top, one to nothing. In now, Jonathan Scope. He'll lead things off here in this one Second run contest. Baseman, Jonathan Scope. First pitch coming, here it is. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Oh. There's a knuckleball bobbing and weaving right over the outside corner. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a knuckleball over the outside corner. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now another 1 2. The knuckleball's his out pitch, but it misses 2 and 2. Down the third baseline. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And he won't risk the long throw across. He'll hang on to it. It's an infield single. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo. Castillo. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. From the belt, the pitch chopped weakly to the left. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox. Brought to you by Majestic. Cameron, this team can pick it. Lead the league in building percentage, and there's a reason why they're winning games. Tough to get past them, they make all the plays. Here's Cameron Maben now. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First offering on its way. And a knuckleball, too low apparently. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. I like that check swing. He started to offer at the off-speed pitch, but he recognized it and was able to hold up. Orioles out to an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Outside, 3-0 now. After two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. The 3 and 0 pitch takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Set. Here's the 3 1. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Batting ninth, 
Shortstop. JJ. Hardy. Here's the shortstop now, JJ Hardy. And the average isn't pretty. Down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Ben Intendi going back at the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 2 0 ball game. Man, they already hit one home run, and I thought they had a second one right there. Not quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right now. Digging in for his second at bat, Manny Machado. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Knuckleball there, but it dances outside. Ball one. This is the guy they're going to have to be careful with. He can put three runs on the board in a hurry. So expect them to try to get him to chase something out of the zone if they can. One and no pitch on the way. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Here's the one and one pitch. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Second and third here, one man out. That's ball three. 3-1 count to this guy, you don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corners. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Betts. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Hey, always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice ten. fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Digging in to try it again, Adam Jones. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. One oh count. Here it is. On the ground up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. Oh, ground ball up the middle. That's going to score a run right there. That's a nice job of just staying up the middle, not trying to pull a ball or get out in front. Just stay up the middle, and it paid off. Here's Mark Trumbo now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one a base hit in his first trip. Come set and the 0 1. Could have hit that with a three iron, a low knuckleball called for a strike. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2.
Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here though. Three runs already home here. And now this is foul tipped at the plate and that appeared to catch a lot of the home plate umpire in the process. Hope he's all right down there. Here he comes again one two and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits no errors and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Orioles four and the Red Sox nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. He'll get Sox. us going here in the bottom Third half baseman, of the second. Jose Ramirez. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to 2 and 2 now. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. All right, here's how the Orioles are lining up defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at the first baseman, Chris Davis. Now you can play him at third, you can play him at first, but because of his footwork at third, it made him a better first baseman. I think he gets overlooked quite a bit. He's a pretty good defender. So digging in now Jackie Bradley Jr. as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Here's the pitch. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat it's ball one. Bases are empty one man out. And a strike to even the count. One and one. What a great adjustment. The high fastball on the first one didn't have a good release point. The next one he's able to put it on the corner, correcting himself as the at bat goes on. I love it. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Batting six, the shortstop. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit down the line at first. 
And Davis will just watch this go by. It's a fair ball. When you're struggling, you'll look for anything. Then off to a little bit of a cold streak. He didn't hit it hard, but that's a big one to build on. Adam Duvall. At the plate, Adam Duvall. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. First pitch of the at bat. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. And things have really unraveled on him in a hurry. He gives up a two out single then he throws a wild pitch to put him into scoring position. He basically just threw a double and he didn't even earn it. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Missed a pretty good pitch to hit right there. You know he wants that one back because you usually don't get more than one of those in an at bat. Outside, two and one. The set and the two and one pitch. Is a swing and a high pop up. Hardy is there for it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Davis. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Chris Davis. And he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Matt, I don't know about you, but I'm a little surprised to see him back out there. Those first two innings were rough, but he's fought himself back to get up to the third inning, and let's see how it turns out. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. And this will land foul. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate and he will make the over the head catch behind the plate. Wow a nice play there for the first out. Ready for another chance. Hyun Soo Kim 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Well, as we take another look, you can see that's definitely a throwing air here. The ball bounces right off the infield grass. A nice effort to try and make the save, but it was a tough hop, and he can't bail his teammate out. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Hit hard to short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles just found the hole. Stepping in now, Wellington Castillo, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. 
on the ground near home. And indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. The batter. Designated hitter. Cameron striding in once again. Cameron Maven. No official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one. First pitch coming here it is. Hit hard on the ground to second and that's through into center field base hit and not in time as the run scores. The tag and they get him at the plate as one run scores but not the second. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Baltimore's out in front five to nothing. So stepping in. Tucker Barnhart and his guys have quite a hill to climb down five zip here in the early going into the windup and the pitch eight nine and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one into his windup here comes the 1 0 and a fastball runs a bit inside he's down two and oh. 2-0 pitch on the way. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Into the windup. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Kim's there for it. Makes the play. One away. Batting ninth. Left fielder. Andrew. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. First pitch on its way. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. One out, nobody on. Chop foul at the plate here, and it's 0 and 2. The 0 2 delivery. Line drive to center field. Jones is there, two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just right didn't have fielder. the right launch angle okay. to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Here's Mookie Betts. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Bases are empty here with two men out. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this is a fair ball as it'll head toward the pesky pole in right. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Here's the second baseman now Dustin Pedroia oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over danger averted following the two out double don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. Trying to pick things up where we left off. J.J. Hardy, he'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And it's off the green monster. Throw into second. 
And he's able to hustle his way up the second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Well, that's his second double of the game, and I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Banged it off the wall, and he's looking really good in this one. Here's Manny Machado now. Line drive snagged on a short hop. No problem here. One away. Now batting number 10. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Now batting right fielder Mark Trumbo. Some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander is up and throwing. Here's Mark Trumbo now. As he rips it on the ground to second. Pedroia fields it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Orioles down on just four pitches, but they hold a 5 0 lead. Digging in now, Hanley Ramirez. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Hanley Ramirez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a liner. Foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit and it's 1 and 1. Zero. 1 1 pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside half of the plate. And that's what he's doing right now. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Here's the pitch on two and two. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Now another two two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout now going, and he really Third seems to have this lineup off balance. Jose Even when he challenges Romero. them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. No runs, two hits, and one error on the Boston line score. This for Machado down at third. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter, center fielder, Jackie. Bradley Striding in, Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that misses ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Lays off again and it's 2 0. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. No runs, two hits, and one error on the Boston line score. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Here's Xander Bogarts now, and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk, always considered a big no-no, of course. Here's the first pitch to him. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. Hit hard on the ground towards second. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Well, this is how rallies start. You get one man on, then you get the base hit. Look, First it's still early. I know they're down by a lot, Adam, but, man, this is how ball. little things add up. They need to score this inning, and then from there continue to add on. In now, Adam Duvall. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He popped out in his first trip. The 0 1 pitch. And that misses one and one. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. He's set and the two one pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. Just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Two down, runners at first and second. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. The three two one more time he got him lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning Boston strands a couple they can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Here's Chris Davis now he's in to get things going here in inning number five. Chris Davis. Here comes the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One out. The left fielder number 25, Insu Kim. Digging in once again, Hyunsoo Kim. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. Ben Intendi comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. The second baseman, number six, Jonathan Scope. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. First offering on its way. And a fastball just a bit up. He hasn't used that pitch much this game. That's one he's been working on the bullpen, and now he's brought it into the game. If he's able to incorporate that in his stuff, look out. 
the wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And that's in there so perhaps some life here with two men out. So with that the top of the fifth is still alive. Well Matt he's really been struggling recently but this is the third hit of the game right here. Maybe we're seeing signs that he's really going to start to come out of it and maybe stay out of it. Here's the catcher Wellington Castillo as he'll watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Way in front of that fastball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Orioles leave one as they're unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for. Them. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Oh, and he could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now batting. Left fielder. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A slider that he looks at over the outside corner. Well, he's really having good success in this game. And, you know, looking at it, you go, how's he doing it? Well, it's surely not the first pitch strike. I mean, he's a little over 60% first pitch strikes. That's good. It's not great. But the type of success he's having, you can't figure it out. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Kim will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Now batting right fielder. Mookie. Digging in and looking for more. Mookie Betts one for two with a double on the ledger so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A There's ball. a fastball that just misses ball one. Two out, nobody on. And that swung on and fouled straight back. One and one, here it comes. Ani pops it up. 
drifting just beyond the infield. And Scope will settle under it to make the play, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Joe Kelly plate. takes over to start now the sixth the inning on the mound. Number 56, Joe Kelly. Here's Cameron Mabin now. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Cameron Mabin. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. And now, pitch on the way. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This will be handled by Pedroia at second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, number two, shortstop, J.J. Hardy. Here's the shortstop now, J.J. Hardy. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. The windup and the 0-1. Ball chopped foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Hot shot on the ground is short. Bogarts has it. On the first as the throw takes care of Hardy, two away. The third baseman, number 13, Manny Machado. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Manny Machado. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly, six for 14. First delivery to him on the way. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. Three and oh now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Now that's not fair. Hey, you're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. And another foul ball. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough or he could square it and keep it fair. Takes this the other way to right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they hold a 5-0 lead. Ready for another shot now, Dustin Pedroia. And Dan he and his Leading fellow top-of-the-order hitters haven't really offered Second much help for this lineup so far. Justin no, Pedroia. your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Into the windup and the pitch. 
Nope. A fastball that just misses nope. inside. Nope. Pedroia waiting the 1-0. Oh. Just missing here, 2-0. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. Down oh, low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Got through the fifth, all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. The 3 2 now to Pedroia. Lifted in the air out towards left center. After it is Jones. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Here's Hanley Ramirez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And that misses for ball one. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Here's the 1-0 now to Ramirez. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Boy, he's pitching really good in this game, and the fastball location has been the key. That pitch right there is indicative of the game. Down low, hits a spot. That's what he's been doing with the fastball basically the whole game. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. One-two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No, a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another try at 2 2. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. First pitch on its way. Jose Ramirez stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 0. Here it comes, 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. And the pitch. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Boy, Matt, he's making this good team look silly. He's about one pitch away. I mean, one good strike from getting all the way through the sixth inning, shutting these guys down. Really nice job. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this one will be out of play off to the left. 
two out nobody on. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Trumbo has a read on it. Oh, what happened there? It falls in. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. You don't think fielding is important? Instead of a routine out, you got a guy standing at second base after a two base error. We'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. And now here comes Oriole manager Buck Showalter on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So his final ledger will show just five and two third innings of work, but he did what he needed to do in this one. Oliver Drake, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to Number do the pitching. 71, Oliver Drake. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Movement in the Orioles bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. He's set and the pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hot shot to third. Taken in by Machado. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. We'll see Adam Jones when we come back. It's the Orioles five and the Red Sox nothing. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Orioles leading this one through six as we take a look at our game summary to this point. Digging in once again, Adam Jones. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Adam Jones. First pitch coming, here it is. Looks at a two seamer right down the middle. The wind up and the 0 1. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, right fielder, Mark Trumbo. Riding in once again, Mark Trumbo. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly, three for ten. He also has one home run. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Hey, it's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Here's Chris Davis now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. From the wind up the 2 0 pitch. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. 
set to deliver on 3 0. And that misses as Davis will reach its ball four. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't the blame them. With the bases empty and two outs, and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Ready once again, Hyunsu Kim. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. High in the air out to center field. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that it's ends the inning. The One left for the strike. Orioles as they're unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll Leading start things out here in the bottom of inning number Mike seven. Xander Bogarts. First offering on its way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two and 0 pitch on the way. In the dirt. It's 3 and 0 now. Adam Duvall will be next. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Ready on 3 and 1. Here's the pitch. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. First baseman number 23, Adam Duvall. Digging in to try it again. Adam Duvall. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1 0. 1 0 pitch on the way. Check to swing there and pops this one up. One out, nobody on. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. He'll try again one two and a splitter swung on and missed that time and that'll be out number two. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's the just been completely lost at the plate flailing Hunter all over the place. Barnhart. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Standing in now Tucker Barnhart as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh no hits to this point. Late that time for a strike. One ball one strike. A one and one count here's the pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Hardy onto the grass, and that retires the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Tyler Thornburg has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the Number eight. 47, Tyler Thornburg. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Lifetime numbers against Thornburg. One for three. He's taken him deep once. Scope. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. The wind up and the 0 1. 
favorable call in there for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a ball line fouled off to the right over the Red Sox dugout. The next 0 2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't All used right. it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He well, uses it, pulls Castillo. the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Well, you got to question the pitch call in here. First of all, you throw a fastball by him, then you come back off speed. All you're doing is speeding up his bat. I don't get it. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's Cameron Mabin now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The 1 0 pitch takes a look at a strike over the inside corner runner at first here one man out. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. The two and one on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. He's set. Here's the 2 2. This is foul right side. Here's another 2 2. Starting to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Ramirez is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Now batting shortstop J. At J. the plate J.J. Hardy. Hardy. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Here comes the 1 0. And a fastball just a bit high. Two out with the man at first. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Just a tick behind for a strike. Don't speed up his bat here, Matt. Two fastballs he blew right by him. I would have to come right back with another fastball. Let's see what he does. Set to deal on two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing, and that's hit out of play up 
into the plaza level. Another full count pitch home. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Hey, that was a great well, battle right there. He 13. tried to get him to chase, but Manny he laid off some him. really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Here's Manny Machado now. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air to shallow center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Castillo rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. That was terrific. You always hear keep your hands inside the baseball. That's a perfect example. The ball was in and he took it back up the middle. You can't do that if you don't keep your hands inside the baseball. Here's the center fielder now Adam Jones as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the 0 1 and he just misses with a curveball. A one and one now to Jones. Fouled back. Come on, Buster. One and two, here it comes. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Orioles six and the Red Sox nothing. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. Ready with the one and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And now time is called as a beach ball has made its way out into left field here. Ready on one and two. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Another one two delivery. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. There's a shot out to right center field. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Here's Mookie Betts as he lines it out to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Here's the tag from Castillo. They got him at the plate. 
Hey, he's trying his hardest to help his guys get back in the game, but this time, he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The set and the 1 0 pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Matt, this is where that guy on first base is distracting the pitcher. I guarantee you, he's down 2 0. He's not focused on the hitter. This is where you get hurt. I love it when a guy on first can run. In the dirt here, and he'll keep that runner where he is, but meanwhile, it's 3 0 now. 3 0 pitch on its way. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Seared down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and it's full now at 3 and 2. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3 2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Here's Hanley Ramirez. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. That was a good take right there. Look, double play situation, and this guy's got a nasty split that makes you hit the ground ball. You're probably going to see it. That was a nice job of taking that pitch. Here's the 1 0 now to Ramirez. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. Now the 1 1 to Ramirez. And a ball diving into the dirt, a swing and a miss. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. Grounded back up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. Ninth inning coming up. The Orioles lead it six to nothing. Fernando Abad enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Fernando Abad. Ready for another chance? And you may notice the usual closer is not in the game here with the save opportunity on the table. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt, so we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So the Orioles get their leadoff man aboard to start the inning. Well, I tell you, Matt, right there, man, that, that was an interesting play First because the defense 19. is playing so deep and playing no doubles. I just feel like if they were in at a normal depth, they would have caught that ball. Into the box now. 
Chris Davis as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single, and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball with the plate and maybe get a ground ball. Let's go. All right, let's win. Go. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. The one and two pitch in the dirt and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with but there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well you give up free bases. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting outfielder, Young Soo Kim, down the first baseline. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball one. Counts one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Nope. And here's one that misses, so it's two and one now to the Oriole left fielder. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Three and two now. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. The second baseman, number six, Jonathan Scope. Now in the box, Jonathan Scope. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. The 1 0 delivery. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching it. The 2 0 on the way. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3 0. Three and O pitch on its way, and he misses ball four. The batter, catcher, 
Wellington digging Castillo. in and looking for more. Wellington Castillo. He singled his last time up. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Late one ball, one strike. Two men are on with two men out. Hard on the ground towards short. Bogarts has it, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. They lead it six zip. Zach Britton comes on to work now, now and he's their Baltimore. usual closer but this Number is obviously not a save Zach opportunity. Britton. Yeah this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give Lead him a chance to pitch in a real Zach. game situation here. Digging in the switch hitter Jose Ramirez. And Dan what's gone wrong for this lineup today they're only three outs away from being shut out Boy, you know I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats now of course plenty of credit goes to that pitching but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth Matt yeah I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one and oh looked inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one well they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Here's the 0 1. Hey. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally, not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Oh and two here it comes. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Hit back up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox after the inning. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Well, you can tell he's got ice water in his veins. No pressure. He gets up there in the ninth with this streak going and delivers. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. First pitch on its way. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Ready with the 0 1. A tough sinker on the inside corner. A runner at first with no outs here. Too high. One and two. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Here's the one and two delivery. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. But one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate.
set to deal on two and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was that's excellent short because if it's put in play, there's Sanders a good chance Bogart. it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts. Yeah as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 so far two for three in this one the 0 1 pitch second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate and he's behind now 0 and 2. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been First unable to advance that leadoff single into Adam scoring position. Duvall. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Britain's ready. First pitch on the way. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Chopped foul wide of first. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you could coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Six-nothing, the final shutout score today. Logan Verrett earned his ninth win of the year. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time.